What if I told you that one of the most misunderstood engines on American highways might just be your fleet's secret weapon? Stay with me, because the International A26 isn't just another power plant. It's a calculated comeback story, engineered for reliability and redemption. And if you've written it off based on its troubled ancestry, well, you might be missing out on one of the smartest diesel plays in the game today. Let's face it, when you hear Navistar, some of you instantly remember the nightmares of the Max Force era. But here's the twist. The A26 isn't a Max Force. In fact, it's built from an entirely different DNA. This engine is based on the manned D26 platform, a tried-and-true European design, and International has re-engineered it for North American demands. It's lighter, cleaner, and smarter. And yes, it wants a second chance. Now, here's where things get interesting. The A26 isn't just aiming for redemption. It's targeting longevity and cost efficiency. With a 12.4L displacement and 450 horsepower under the hood, it's designed to compete head-to-head -head with Detroit and Cummins. But unlike some of its rivals, it trims the fat, literally. At just over 2,300 pounds, it's one of the lightest engines in its class. That means more payload, less fuel burn, and improved overall efficiency. But before we go too far, let me ask you this. When's the last time an engine saved you money before it even fired up? The A26 is designed with fewer parts, roughly 50% fewer than some competitors, which means fewer failure points. That's not just clever design. That's dollars back in your pocket. Now, I know what you're thinking. Lighter and simpler? Sounds great, but can it handle the long haul? And that's exactly the cliff we're standing on. Because while the A26 talks a big game, the real test is performance on the open road. And here's where fleet managers are starting to talk. Reports show the A26 hitting fuel economy numbers in the high sevens, even pushing into the low eights miles per gallon. That's not just efficient. That's downright aggressive when you're hauling coast to coast. Add to that 8B10 design life of 1.2 million miles. Yes, you heard that right. And the engine starts to look like more than just a redemption arc. It's a full-blown transformation. International went back to the drawing board, consulted with real-world drivers, and prioritized serviceability. The result? Easier access to components, longer oil drain intervals, and reduced downtime. And here comes a question that might throw you. Why are more fleets quietly switching to the A26? Is it just the fuel savings? Or is something else driving the shift? Well, we're not done yet. The A26 is also backed by International's Customer Uptime Program. A fancy name, sure, but one with real teeth. It's built around the idea that your truck should never sit in a shop longer than absolutely necessary. With connected diagnostics and 24-7 support, International is making a very clear promise. Uptime is no longer optional. And that brings us to the final mile. If you're still skeptical, you're not alone. But here's the truth. Fleets across the U.S. are taking a second look. Some are even reporting that the A26 is outperforming their long-trusted engines in maintenance costs and fuel returns. It's not hype. It's happening. So now the question isn't if the International A26 is worth considering. It's whether you're ready to give it a real shot before your competition does. Don't blink. This engine's comeback story might just change how America rolls.